Chapter 281. Shall I tear them off? Once the conference was over, the completely exhausted army commander sluggishly left the room. The only one in high spirits was the Demon King. Since even Onikun had the look of fatigue on his face, it must be substantial, huh? I mean, is Balto going to be okay like that? His face has the shadow of death on it, though. During the conference, th though each army will be hastily unified, it was decided that the armies already with sufficient numbers would be consolidated. During this meeting, Kuro and Bubin didn't participate, but since their armies didn't receive any damage in the first place, they weren't called because there were no need to reorganize their armies. Or rather, since the Bubin has made camp near the fort under the pretext of monitoring the monkeys that she herself instigated, there's not going, they're not going anywhere soon anyway. And maybe she would have refused to budge unless she was compelled to come to the conference. The details of the reorganization are the survivors of the 6th army that was led by the Shota were merged into the 5th army. The 7th army that was led by the Hoodlum will be merged into the 3rd Army, Mara's 4th Army and Onikun's 8th Army will be, will be left as is. That sort of thing. And Mara's Army and Onikun's Army will also be taken along with it when the time comes to capture the Elf Village. While it could be arranged for them to have... for them to move together, rather than hastily re reorganizing them, it seems that it was determined that it would be better to let them each do their own thing, since the plan is for the 5th army that the mock samurai leads will remain to defend the demon territories, their numbers will be replenished. Likewise, since the 3rd army that the idiot giant leads will also be defending, it was readily decided to augment their numbers. Though there will, will certainly be some minor adjustments, that's the general idea. So, in short, the armies that will participate in the raid on the elf village won't reorganize. The defense side will be reorganized and their forces replenished. Normally you'd do it the other way around, I'd think, but to be blunt, the soldiers are merely there to make up the numbers, so as, and so long as their bosses are there, it doesn't matter either way. The only ones truly considered to be a meaningful force are Mara and Onikun alone. The rest are basically disposable pawns who wouldn't be missed if they died. The gulf is instead the gulf, right? The gulf in status sure is cruel, huh? I don't know. And now then, I'm sure that the other armies are about to get busy with drawing up lists, etc. for the changes in personnel, but my 10th army can carry on without any changes, so I'll have some free time. Femina Chan has already recovered, so it's fine to leave the admission administration to her, which is why I'm going to do that for a bit. Go out for a bit. <laughs> Go out for a bit. I rouse Vampire Girl, who's been in who's been living in idleness from her bed and forcibly from her bed and forcibly haul her along. Ah, uh, it's this again, huh? I'm being abducted without any explanation again, huh? It somehow seemed like Vampire Girl was being strangely philosophical, but ignore it, ignore it. I teleport while still holding on to Vampire Girl. At the point where I teleport to, there's a monkey right in front of us. Eh? The Vampire Girl is likewise directly facing the monkey. Exterminate every last one of them, okay? Eh? I teleport right away, leaving Vampire Girl behind. It somehow feels like I heard a shout of, hey, but I'm sure it's just my imagination. The monkeys occupying the fort were starting to become a nuisance, so I decided to have them cleaned up. No big deal. Whether there's 10,000 or 1,000, 100,000 monkeys, Vampire Girl will win easy peasy. Anyway, anyhow, once she's killed the one, the rest will come at her of their own accord anyway, so there's no way they'll get away. She won't be able to escape either, though. I int intended to deal with the monkeys in due course, but the reason why I chose to do it with this particular timing is because of the booby and the second army has been making suspicious moves. Or rather, she's totally been in contact with those fucking elves, who would have thought that immediately after their positions all around the world had been crushed that they would attempt to get in contact with the leaders of the demon armies. Furthermore, that Boobian willingly jumped on board as well. It seemed that all the nutrients have gone to her breasts after all, leaving her head empty. Given the same proposition, the idiot giant reserved judgment, so it seems he still has something inside his head. I'm sorry, I called you an idiot. Although he's still an idiot for not rejecting it immediately. The one the the ones the elves attempted to contact were the Boobian of the second army, the idiot giant of the third army, and the idiot giant of the third army. At this rate you will ground down by the demon demon king, you know? Why don't you cooperate with the elves and make a surprise attack on the Demon King, hmm? Given that proposition, the Boobian unhesitatingly assented. What a fool. The idiot giant chose to reserve judgment after much hesitation. However, based on his manner, he was certainly considerably tempted. Most likely, once he's inducted by the Boobian, he'll join for certain. What an idiot. What's the situation? Reporting. The Anagrach inside the fort have suddenly started making an uproar. Currently, there is no indication that they will leave the fort, though. We do not know what is occurring. The Boobian receives a report from a soldier who is standing guard in the fort. I am soundlessly standing next to her. Uh, there is nothing to fear. Yeah. Well, maybe it's because I suddenly called out to them as the Boobian and the soldier who came to report both uh, both raised their voices in support in surprise. 
I'd rather you not make that reaction like you'd seen a ghost. The forces of the Tenth Army are working to liberate the fortress. Say what? The Bobian asks me to repeat myself in a tone of disbelief. However, I have no intention of repeating the same explanation. Until the work is complete, I suggest you w that you wait here. Saying so, I retrieve a chair from another dimension and make myself at home. In addition, I take out a table and place some snacks and drinks on top. From the fort in the distance, the sounds of violent battle reverberate. Do your best, vampire girl. While I observe, observe you doing your best, I'll treat myself to an elegant tea break. Ah, that reminds me. As soon as the extermination is complete, the second army will occupy the fort. It's going to get busy in here, I'm sure. Busy here, I'm sure. I whisper that to the Boobian, who's still in a daze. Once the army occupies the fort, they won't be able to abandon that duty. It's possible that the humans will come to regain it, making that, the, making that their forces... Making, uh, meaning <laughs> that their forces must be kept there, which means that they can't do something like cooperate with the elves and march to the demon territory. They won't have any spare time to do so. Now then, the current situation is that the trusted retainer of the Demon King is defenselessly exposing herself right now, but will that booby make a move on her, I wonder? I wouldn't expect her to be that much of a fool, but I've laid out this trap just in case. If she goes for it, then the head of the second army will be significant significantly altered. I'll tear off those boobs before her head, though. <laughs> ah, okay. Boob, boob rankings. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> a fucking boob <laughs> I love the reverse rankings too. <laughs> oh, that's 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 amazing. <laughs> oh, oh gosh. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> awesome. All right. Uh, bye-bye. <laughs>